What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about some of the base game improvements that Zoss is going to be doing when the High Isles chapter releases. Now Zoss went ahead and put out some information about some of these base game changes, some things we could expect to see you know, in the coming months with update 34. Uh, now of course all of the base game changes were not listed in this. A lot of these things of course that they didn't list will have to be tested in the public test server. Some of that stuff will have to be kind of you know, tinkered with to be changed or updated or fixed if, you know, it doesn't work correctly. But they did talk about some update uh, up, update 34 base game changes that I think a lot of people have asked for for a really long time. And these are really quality of life changes. Uh, of course, first of all, they talked about Spanish localization. I know that's been a, a thing that players in the community have asked for. Also, Mundus stones in the armory system. When the armory system was added, a lot of people kind of liked it, especially on the console side. The PC side, I'm not sure if they use it as much as uh, console players do because they have add-ons that can do kind of the similar thing. But one of the biggest complaints was there was no way to save your Mundus stone in the armory system. So if you have two different loadouts or if you've purchased more slots, uh, you'd have to go change your uh, Mundus stone every time you swapped you know, that loadout. So that was kind of annoying. And now it looks like we'll be able to save those Munda stones in the armory system. I'm not sure why that was not added to begin with, but it looks like it is being added into the game. Also, they said updates to the quick slot wheel. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this means, but I made a video a while back talking about how the quick slot wheel needs to be broken down into several different wheels. We have so many different assistants now that you can carry with you between your bankers, your merchants, uh, you know, your armory, uh, your armory merchant also. You, we have the new merchant that actually allows you to break things down on the fly out in the open world while you're just adventuring. There's so many different uh, assistants we have now. Between those, having food, having po potions, if you want any emotes, anything like that. The wheels are so full uh, compared to the amount of, you know, the amount of slots compared to what we actually have available to put in those slots. It's just way too much in my opinion. I think the wheel needs to be broken down, either made larger to have extra slots on it or break it, break it down like I talked about in that past video where we have different wheels uh, within that one. Uh, so once you go to that one wheel, you can kind of just tab over and have several different wheel options. One maybe just for potions and food, one maybe just for uh, assistance, of course, like the one we have now that is just for emotes and maybe something where you can add mementos in there as well. Hopefully, this update to the quick slot wheel will be something that will help out with all of that clutter, in my opinion, and the ability not to have everything you need on your quick slot wheel. Of course, this is also you'll be able to choose your own title screen music, which I thought was kind of an interesting uh, thing. Uh, I, I really do like usually a lot of the title music they have. Since the new update has come out here on console, I really do like the update 33s, the, kind of the, the music that is on the title screen. But I think that's kind of a cool thing. They're going to allow people to kind of change that up if they would like. Also, let's talk about new housing, furnishings, and furnishing or housing guest. Uh, of course, we knew that kind of thing would be coming into the game. No word yet on exactly what they're going to do with housing, if they're going to make any big changes to housing. I would assume not. They kind of said they're limited to you know, housing in general uh, because of all the different platforms the game is on. So it looks like what we have right now for housing is probably all we're going to get for a little while. Uh, they may be working on some type of uh, you know larger update for housing down the road, which I hope. And last but not least, they talked about accessibility improvements. Now, no word on what those accessibility improvements will be, but hopefully it could be you know anything from UI fixes to you know just easy uh, to make it a little easier to navigate you know screens and things like that within uh, the ESO uh, menu itself. We we'll kind of have to wait and see exactly what those accessibility improvements will be. I'm sure we'll get more information about all of this once. Everything goes live on the public test server, but I did want to kind of give you guys an idea of what they're looking to change when it comes to the base game. Now, of course, like I said, there's going to be a lot of other changes. As we know, I talked about the combat changes a few days ago in another video. There's going to be a lot of stuff, you know, that they haven't listed yet, but I'm hoping some of these accessibility improvements, the quick slot changes, adding, you know, the Munda stones into the armory system, those were things the community wanted. And hopefully some of the other things they're doing within the base game are going to be some other things the community has been asking for for a really long time now we'll kind of have to just wait and see anyway leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you all next time peace